Hello and welcome to BCCDC. My name is Gabriela Munoz. I'm one of the homeownership specialists here. I am here to explain our coaching for homeownership to make sure that this is the correct first step for you to take. So what does it mean to actually work with a homeownership specialist? So professional like myself, we're trained in different areas of home ownership, whether it's assisting someone who's trying to purchase their home and what are the steps that it entails, or someone that's already a homeowner trying to refinance or maybe preserve their home. We do take various trainings from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, from NeighborWorks America, or maybe Rural Community Assistance Corporation. And there's many others there that we also continue our trainings with. We're versed and have vast knowledge on the different loan programs. We try to make sure to know any down payment assistances that are available in our particular service areas. And we specialize again in helping first time home buyers. However, we are not a loan officer. With our service, it is individualized. It's specific to your situation and your financials. We have absolutely no sales pitches happening. We're a neutral source. We're here just to simply guide you through the process. So whether it's someone who may not know where they are in the purchase process, they know they want to purchase, but don't really know exactly where they are along the process, or maybe someone that is ready to meet with a lender, but wants guidance still prior to meeting with them, that certainty that yes, we are mortgage ready. We're also here to motivate you, keep you on your goal, and keep you accountable to this goal. This service is completely free of cost to you. No fees at all. Again, we are not a loan officer. We might share some estimates in our sessions, but again, we're not loan officers to qualify you. Things will change once you actually meet with a loan officer, whether it be the actual type of loan that you might qualify for, the interest rates, the assistance eligibility. They're the ones that ultimately give you that final determination. But we're here again to help and guide you through it, creating those financial goals that you need. Going through a deep dive on credit, everything that's on your credit report, the score, and how does it apply for your goal of buying? We go through your debt and how does debt play a part in your qualification? Making sure you're taking advantage of saving the most that you possibly can by going through your budget, making sure we know exactly how does your money flow we're going to talk about the different loans that exist, what are the different criteria to qualify for them, as well as find assistances that you might qualify for. Going back to the budget, we're going to talk about an affordable mortgage. We don't want you just to have a house. We want you to be able to have a mortgage that you can also sustain. And if there are any community referrals that we can do to help better your financial situation, again, we try to stay on top of anything going on in our area. So an action plan, that's our main goal that we want out of an appointment, out of our session. So following our first session, we're gonna actually send you a copy of it. You're gonna have a copy of the step-by-step -step process that we're gonna take. This is gonna be, again, steps that are gonna help in reaching your goal of homeownership. We want your commitment to following these steps. Doing so, we're gonna actually follow up with you. That's gonna be our guide to make sure we're making progress through this goal of yours. So what exactly do I need in order to go through your personal financials? So there are some forms here at BCCDC that we need to collect, a BCCDC intake form, a monthly spending plan to your budget. There is a questionnaire that we ask for you to fill out, authorization and privacy disclosure, and then of course, income information. Now, if you work for a company, you're a W-2 employee or salaried employee, you get a W-2 at the end of the year to file taxes. We want the last 30 day of pay stems. If you're self-employed, we wanna look at your last two years of federal tax returns. And again, any other income that you might have, we wanna know about it because that gives us a full picture of the financials. Retirement statements, we do also wanna get your last tax returns, even if you're not self-employed, we want a copy of those tax returns. Last three months of bank statements. We will be pulling a copy of your credit report. It is what's called a tri-merge. So all three credit scores, all three credit bureaus will show up on there. This is the only fee that we actually have. All of our other coaching services, our guidance, everything else involved is completely free of cost to you.
and then a copy of your ID. Now these documents sound very familiar to what a lender may ask you. Now, why do we require them? Because we want to know the big picture, the full picture of your financials, just similar to what a lender would. As a HUD approved counseling agency, so again, HUD is the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. They do periodically audit, audit us to make sure that we're following industry standards. And as such, so that we can provide this to you at no cost, we do have to report back to our funders with demographic information. It's never any personal information that might attach a file particularly to you. It's demographics. Uh, income levels, race, ethnicity, age, household composition. It's data that's collected, but not, again, tied to a particular client. We do need to have this information in order to report back and how do we obtain it through those documents that I shared of what do we request. A good first step as well is to take our home buyer education workshop. We follow the curriculum as said by HUD, Topics include going through your budget, your credit, what exactly are the different types of mortgage loans and how do we qualify for them, down payment assistances, the real estate process, how to work with a real estate agent, insurance needs, escrow, what is it, how does it all connect in this process, and then foreclosure prevention for after you become a homeowner, what are your options if in case you face any financial difficulties. Great first step to take to get a get more information and in an eye view into this process that you might be going through. Again, we strongly recommend it that you do take it, whether it be before our counselor or maybe even after. Um, it is a great informational tool to take. So what exactly are the next steps? If coaching for homeownership is a service for you, this would mean that you do want the assistance and guidance through getting ready to buy. You are also committed to showing up for this appointment. We want to continue to offer our services for free to all of our clients. And we definitely want to make sure that schedule appointments show. That appointment that you have selected and if you cancel is someone else's that could have came in. So please make sure to commit to the appointment in time. You're also committed to providing the documents that I share. That document checklist is also found on our website. And again, you're ready and committed to follow the action plan. Maybe the coaching for homeownership is not just yet the service for you if you know you're ready to meet with a lender. Again, the home buyer education class is a great first step to kind of know what does the process entail and am I ready to meet with a lender or do I still need some guidance or some assurance? Maybe you cannot commit to an appointment just yet. Again, the home buyer education class is a great first step that you can take. So definitely we want to figure out where we are so that way you can contact us to make an appointment if you're ready. You can do so. Our contact information is there on the screen by calling us, emailing us, or submit your request on our appointment website, vccdc.org forward slash APP. Thank you again, and we hope to see you soon.